Hello Nidorinas and Nidorinos and welcome to Lumio City where the Lumios Lightning are hosting the Shriton Spring. Spring is starting out with Delmires and Cradily, two Pokemon they've actually regularly started out with as Luxray and Arctos always starting out for the Lumios Lightning. Let us know in the comments below who you think is going to win, the 3rd place Lumios Lightning or the 10th place Striton Spring. Luxray is going to start out for the Lumios Lightning, having that 70 base speed, so not the quickest Pokemon on the field at the moment, but Luxray being the quickest of the four. Luxray copies Delmai's stat changes, but obviously none of them have happened yet, first move of the entire battle. We get a circle throw coming from Arctazolt that doesn't affect Delmai's, as it's also a ghost grass type. Flail now coming from Cradilly. Targeting Arctazolt, it's not going to do much damage though. Delmai's now, it's going to go with a Hydro Pump onto an Electric type Pokemon. Targeting Arctazolt, this shouldn't be very effective. Still does a decent amount of damage though. Arctos are just staying in the green. Lumios Lightning are coming off a win. They're currently sitting in third, so they've got a record of 4 and 1. They're hoping to add to that. With Thunder is avoided by Cradilly from Luxray. Would have had that stab boost being the electric type. I mean, look, again, doesn't affect Elmwise. That ghost type being very advantageous for the spring. Supersonic now is going to come from Cradilly. It's going to leave Arctos all confused. We'll see in the future if it can shake that off. Downwise now, it's going to go with a Skull Bash. So it's going to boost its defense on this turn. We're going to see that Skull Bash hit somebody in the next turn to come. Strite and Spring desperately want this win. They've been climbing up the ladder. They've had two wins in a row. They definitely want to get into the top eight. This, if they win this, it could do it for them. String Shot now from Luxray. It's going to slow down the opposing team. All of them have... Cradily and Downwise, both having their speed harshly lowered. A confusion now on Arctazolt. It is able to shake it off, so it's going to be able to get a metronome out. It's going to go with a Haze, so it's not going to go with an offensive move. Cradily now with its chance. It's going to go with a Pollen Puff, so again, not an offensive move. Actually, I apologise. Yes, it is, and it... Almost halves what's just over half of what's remaining of Arctosol's stats. And Luxray takes that Skull Bash instantly going down into the yellow. Very good showing so far by Delmise and Cradilly doing all the damage. Lovely kiss now coming from Luxray. Going for Cradilly, it's going to put it to sleep. Again, that confusion on Arctosol. Again, it shakes it off as well. Very impressive. Two for two, and it's gonna go with a Leaf Storm onto the Grass type, so it's not gonna be as effective as that like, but still does a decent amount of damage to the Sleeping Cradilly, who's still very fast asleep. You can hear it snoring in the background. Downwise, going with the Autotomize. Very fun word to say, I must admit. So it's gonna lift its own stats, raising that speed. So very nimble down wires, as you can see, just bouncing around the field. So we have Luxray on the field at the moment. It has that 120 base attack. It needs to take advantage of that. It can do some massive power moves to the grass types. Metal Claw, though, coming from down wires with that boosted speed stat. Not very effective on Luxray, but all that damage that's been done to Luxray so far has been done by, by down wires. Get that seismic toss, but down wires ghost typing again prevents damage being done to it. All ghost types are immune to fighting the normal types. Dual wing beat now coming from Arctazolt. And finally, they're going to land some damage onto Delmise. Very good hit by Arctazolt, taking Delmise in, down into the yellow with a super effective attack. And there's Cradilly, still fast asleep on the floor. Delmise also having a very impressive attack, actually stronger than Luxray, having 131 base attack. It's going to go with a bug bite this time, so it's going to hit. Both opposing Pokemon. Oh no, it doesn't. Got my moves confused, but it has finally finished off Luxray. Luxray has been eliminated from this battle. Delmise, with the chipping away there at Luxray, very fantastic work. That confusion on Arctazol, and finally it's not able to shake it, shake it off and it hurts itself in the confusion. Cradilly's finally awoken. And it goes with the Hypnosis, and Arctazol avoids that attack. Boltum now coming out on the field for the Lumios Lightning. Boltum having that unbelievable speed of 121. 
So it's surely going to be going first, even with Dalmise's speed boost. Bolton going to go with a Mystical Fire. This should be super effective. And it targets Dalmise and actually finish, finishes it off. So Dalmise has now been eliminated. That's one down for Luminous Lightning and one down for the Strike and Spring. Arc is up. Great timing. Snaps out of that confusion. And it's going to go with a Smart Strike onto Cradilly. Move's not going to miss. Takes it down into the yellow. Super effective. Cradilly's holding on though. Cradilly's going to respond with a Rock Throw as well. Goes for Bolt Hunt. Very decent hit. You have to think if it had gone for Arctosol, it surely would have finished it off. Going to have a third Pokemon now coming out for the Stride and Spring. And it's Exeggutor. Native to the Alolan region. It has that Frisk ability. But as we already know, every Pokemon in the Elite Challenge League is holding a Leperberry. Bolt Hunt still with that speed. It's going to go with an Iron Head. This could finish off Cradilly. And it will! Bolt Hunt is 2 for 2 in its 2 turns it's been on the field. Great start for Bolt Hunt. Arctis Ult is, going to want, is obviously going to target Executor now. And it's going to go with a Parabolic Charge, so it's actually going to hit Bolt Hunt in the process. Not very effective on either Pokemon. But there will be a slight health restoration for Arctis Ult. Executor coming on as an attacker and special attacker. It has 105 attack, 125 special attack. And it's going to go with a wild charge. So another electric type move. Going for Bolt Hunt. Not very effective, but still does a decent amount of damage. Executor does get a little bit of recoil damage. Rillaboom now coming out for the Strike and Spring. Start a Pokemon native to the Galar region. Rillaboom has that 125 base attack. Pairs up nicely with Exeggutor's 125 special attack, and we're going to see a Skitter Smack now coming from Boltan. Targeting an Exeggutor, very good hit, taking Exeggutor down into the yellow with that super effective move. Also lowering an Exeggutor's special attack in the process. Rillaboom is going to respond with a Thundershock. Move again, not very effective on the Electric types. So Arctazol's holding on, it's in the red, but it is still, again, holding on. Fury Swipe's now going to come from Arctazol. Let's see if we can get all five. It's got one. Gets two. It only gets two out of the five possible hits. Exeggutor now. Surely it's going to want to finish off Exe uh, Arctazol, but instead it's going to go with a Shore Up. So it's just going to restore some of its HP. It's going to, should surely, yes, it does. Put itself back in the green. Almost taking its health back to full. Arctazol, who's been in since the start of this battle. Has that 100 base attack. Icicle Crash now. It's going to come from Bolt Hunt. It's surely going to be super effective. Definitely going to be going for Exeggutor. Massive hit and eliminates Exeggutor with that super effective move. So that health restoration was of no benefit to Exeggutor in the end. Fantastic so far by Bolt Hunt. That's three in a row. Going to get a Frost Breath in response from Rillaboom. Rillaboom surely going for Bolt Hunt. And it actually eliminates Boltund with a critical hit. That is what the Strike and Spring needed to stop Boltund's momentum, which had been so impressive so far. Arctis Ult now going to target Rillaboom. Goes with the Magic Powder, but it doesn't affect Rillaboom. We have Raichu, also native to Alola, coming into the field for Lumios Lightning. And a Bomber Snow coming on for the Strike and Spring. Bomber Snow with that Snow Warning being a Grass Snow type. So it's going to start to hail on the field. So... Raichu and Rillaboom will be taking damage in between turns. Bomber Snow actually having no stats above 100, but its attack and special attack are both sitting at 92. Arctazol goes with a happy hour. Everyone's getting caught up in that atmosphere. Raichu now with that 110 base speed. Again, another Fury Swipes. Let's see if it can have more luck than Arctazol did. It gets two. Critical hit on that second one. It's got three. Only gets three, so between Raichu and Arctazolt, they can only get five. Rillaboom now, it's gonna go with a Razor Leaf, it's gonna hit both opposing Pokemon. And finally, Arctazolt has been eliminated by the Strite and Spring. Well done by Rillaboom. Two eliminations. Bomber Snow now, it's gonna go with a Guard Swap, so clearly it's gonna target Raichu. All the defense and special defense changes will be switched. Raichu taking damage from that hail, as does Rillaboom. 
So we have three Pokemon down on both sides, and Electivire comes onto the field for Lumio Lightning, the number one ranked Pokemon on that team, having the 123 base attack, as well as a 95 speed. Lumio Lightning have an average base speed over their 10 Pokemon. Of a 90 point one, and there's a memento now coming from Raichu. It's gonna sacrifice itself to lower Rillaboom's attack and special attack. Unbelievable, that is way too soon for Raichu to want to use a move like that. But Raichu goes back to the bench, and Electivire is now by itself with one more Pokemon to come onto the field for the Lumios Lightning. That last resort is gonna fail, thankfully, for the Lumios Lightning. And we get a sticky web now coming from Rillaboom. So it's going to slow down whoever comes onto the field for Lumios Lightning. Bomb the snow. It's going to go with a Petal Dance. It's going to get that stab boost. Should do decent damage to Electivire, and it does instantly take it down into the yellow, and then it cops that hail just to add insult. Brilliant will also receiving damage from that hail, and we have the Cantonian Raichu now coming onto the field for the Lumios Lightning. That speed being lowered by the sticky web. Electivire now. It's gonna go with a rock blast. Sure, it's gonna one target a bomber snow. But goes for the Rillaboom. Goes for the Rillaboom. Gets two off. It's got three. It wants to keep going, surely. It's get gets four. Only gets four out of the five, but very good taking Rillaboom down into the red. Rillaboom with an opportunity to respond. Goes with extra sensory. And it's going to target Raichu. It's not going to do a great deal of damage, however. Raichu is surely going to want to finish off Rillaboom here. Goes with a Psycho Shift, but it unfortunately fails, and that Petal Dance continues from a Bomber Snow, and targeting Raichu. Massive hit. Raichu is just holding on, but that Hail is actually going to do damage to it. So I'm thinking, if it hits, and it will, and Raichu has been eliminated by the Hail that the Bomber Snow started when it came onto the field, Electivire is now the last Pokemon for the Lumios Lightning with only 24 HP. Triton Springs still have three remaining. Gonna get a Trop Kick now coming from Electivire. This won't be very effective on the grass types. Goes for Rillaboom and it actually eliminates Rillaboom, which is fantastic. That's what the Lumios Lightning need. Abominus Snow is gonna continue that pedal dance and surely this will do it, and it does. So even though Electivire was able to take out Rillaboom, that pedal dance continued for Abominus Snow. And the Strider and Spring have won it. This could potentially get them into the top eight. Whereas Luminous Lightning may not be sitting in that third position for very long. Hopefully they can do better next week when they face the Bell and the Angels again in Lumio City. So they don't have to travel next week. Whereas the Strider and Spring will be traveling again to face the Spike Myth Devils in Spike Myth City. But unbelievable. Bolton coming onto the field and making an immediate impact, taking out three of the Strider and Spring. Rillaboom was able to take Bolton out, which they desperately needed to stop its momentum. And from there, Strider and Spring did really well. Also, a lull in Raichu, sadly, using that memento so early in its time onto the field. But that critical hit, that was a big changing point for Strider and Spring. That's what they needed. Rillaboom, very good performance, able to take out both Bolton and Arctazolt. Raichu, here it is, that memento. There it was. Lowering Rillaboom's stats, but in the process, taking itself out of this battle. That was just spelled the end for Lumios Lightning. A bomber snow doing very well. Setting up that hail as well as doing massive damage to Raichu. It's very well done. And even though Electivire was able to take out Rillaboom, it couldn't hold off that pedal dance that came from a bomber snow. Even a bomber snow getting confused due to the fatigue, but it didn't impact the battle at all. But Nidorino's, knows, Nidorino's, knows. let us know in the comments below who you thought was the best on field. And always remember, you are awesome. Thank you so much for watching, and I will speak to you guys next time. Bye.